guys, as we wrap it up, um, I just thought of this. We'll, we'll throw this out there and we'll talk about this again uh, next May or June. But like this is going to be Mike Gorman's last season. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Bob, the floor is yours. They use that old cliche, look in a dictionary under the word fro and you will see a picture of Mike Gorman. Um, he, he, he he is the understated excellence, uh, not a, he does not call attention to himself uh, as an announcer, but but knows how to rise to the occasion, uh, is, is well, well prepared uh, and, and just well informed. And 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 he's, it's a comforting presence, you know, and, and um, you know, he will be missed. No, you're you're right about that. He is like the consummate pro. That, that's what you think about with him. Is like never makes a mistake. We'll throw some humor into it, but yep. you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. Um, honestly, you know, listening and watching Mike Gorman. Like I, I've I've learned so much over the years. And again, he he kind of he keeps it simple rather than trying to do too much. And especially in this day and age, when a lot of people feel like they have to adapt. Um, I, I feel like he's been pretty consistent. It's worked. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Absolutely. Well, what, I, what I could tell you, because I know how the spaghetti, I, I've been led into the world of how the Gorman spaghetti is made a little bit um, because I filled in for Mike. And I love Tommy Heinsohn. I will always love him. He was the grumpy uncle at Comcast Sportsnet. Bob, you knew him. Yes. I mean, Tommy could bark at you one minute, hug you the next. But you know, when when Tommy cried, when Tommy died, I cried. I mean, I will love that man forever. But if you worked with Tommy for what thirty years, <laughs> not easy. And I will tell you that Tommy's greatness was enabled by Mike Gorman. You know, that's so often true. And in, in, in like, like I would say, Sean McDonough invented Jerry Remy. Oh, there's no question. It's Rem Dog. I mean, uh, he invented, he brought Jerry Remy, an ultra introvert, the minute the camera and the microphone is dead, and, and created a, for him a, a career. Uh, I'm, I'm sure lucrative. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'm sorry. No, but you're right. But that's, a, that's an excellent comparison because. Um, while you gentlemen can talk about the game of basketball, I could talk about broadcasters because I've seen it and I've known it and I've analyzed them. And Mike, the Tommy point, the whole business of Tommy was made possible by Mike because Mike was not in competition with him. Never. We nope. know so many guys, so many. <laughs> I mean, it was sometimes. Mike and Tommy used to have their spats a little bit. I mean, sometimes by the end of the season, they were a couple like an old married couple. You know, there was like, okay, I'm done. You know, because like I, I'd work with Tommy and Tommy would say, you know, when when Mike would, uh, the year the Celtics lost like 19 in a row or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Gorman had uh, Gorman had the flu. The <laughs> flu. A gotcha. couple times. He was like, Gary, goes, I'm not coming up from New York tonight. It's all yours. And he was gracious. He was great. Like, he watched the game. He gave me some notes. You know, some guys are brutal. You fill in for a guy. You know, they think you're up for your job. I was never going to take Mike Gorman's job. But like, he was so gracious. He, could go, he was like, Gary, no, you do it tonight. You know? And I'd sit with Tommy. And Tommy would give you that, give me the hand. You know, he'd, get, he'd, be, like, <laughs> he'd be like, give me the hand. Like Tommy would go, okay, when the ball comes up the floor, that's when you talk. But when it comes out of the, no, when the ball comes out of the basket, that's when you talk. But as soon as it gets up the floor, it gets to a certain point. But at whatever Tommy would tell me, it would be like a 180. And he would get mad at me. And I was like, but Tommy, I think you just told me to do it that way. And I would tell Mike that. And Mike goes, oh, Gare. He goes, it's been my life for 30 years. You know, <laughs> like, my, I'll never forget this wonderful story. Tommy said something about a guy, praised him. And then Mike, Mike always had it up here. Next game, Mike brought it back up. Mm -hmm. And then Tommy said to Mike, whoever told you that? <laughs> and Mike was like, he just did. And the thing also I want to, and I may be going on long, but I don't care. The, the other thing is like Mike adjusted to the way the game was called. Because when they first started, especially with television, you didn't have all the graphics. You didn't have all of the aids now. So you had much more information. 
But by the time, like even when the game's going on now, Mike used to tell me, dude, it's a talk show. Because everything's on the screen. When he started out, he'd have a ton of notes. But now you just write down a couple bullet points and you talk about what you see. The guys that drive me crazy doing games are the ones that talk too much. Sure. You know, yeah, they yeah. state the obvious. Mike lets, the, let, lets it breathe. All the numbers are on the screen. People can read it. Tell a story. Get something out of Scalabrini. Let Tommy tell a story. Bring something in. Gorman was the best. He No one adjusted to the evolution of sports broadcasting better than Gorman. I will tell you that for a fact. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. <laughs> 